and people are replacing the statements of these ulama with modern day YouTube figures and characters that if we were just to highlight some of their disasters, you would, you would cry. At the time of ease, they call on to their uh, uh, false gods. The mushrikeen today, they call on, uh, on their false gods and their, their, the dead people at, at both times of ease and a time of, of comfort. So, the reality is, this is within the Muslims. People that ascribe to Islam, shirk is integrated into every aspect of their lives. And when Muhammad Abdul Wahab came, and he saw that this was the condition of the Muslims and Allah Azza wa Jal facilitated the da'wah of Tawheed to spread and after it took over and it brought Muslims back to Tawheed now you have elements within the uh, du'at uh, a bunch of so-called du'at or du'at of corruption and du'at of evil that are on a mission to, to uh, يعني, assassinate his character, discredit him, undermine him, uh, call him names, make him a, a, a terrorist, and it's unbelievable how those people uh, have the audacity and the bravery to go against the senior scholars whom Allah Azza wa Jal has given acceptance for them on earth, who behave in the way they're supposed to behave with sincerity and ikhlas and people are replacing the statements of these ulama with modern day YouTube uh, 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 figures and characters that if we were just to highlight some of their disasters you would, you would cry. One of them goes on, on uh, you know, a carnage of, of belittling scholars and making fun of them and making fun of Tawheed and making fun of Aqeedah and making fun of everything. Just an absolute bulldozer. May Allah Azza wa Jal guide him. Another one who, who even uses the, the opportunity of the, the death of a man. The death of a man. You know? And in, in, in giving a talk in the... I don't know, and uh, to highlight or to, to mention the legacy of this person, he spends half of it talking about himself and his uh, achievements and his, uh, what he did and how many courses he taught. You cannot be sicker than this. You, we don't, you will never find a scholar, ever find a scholar who even, who even likes to, be, to speak about himself. The ulama, when someone starts praising them, they say, hey, hey, be quiet, khalas, enough, enough. I would challenge you find any time Sheikh Ben Baz, Sheikh Ben Uthameen, Sheikh Muhammad Bakhtar Shanqiti, any time somebody tries to praise them, they don't even allow them to finish. They feel a sense of humility and they refuse to be, to be given more than they deserve. And then you have these individuals that from all day, all day, in my humble opinion, I have done this, I have done that. I'm the first student and the last student and the first sheikh, uh, the first sheikh and the last sheikh and the first doctor and the last doctor. And these are the individuals that are that have the and and or or a guy who can't even put a sentence together who looks like a crackhead. Well, can't even speak a couple of words of Arabic. What are these people coming on right now? They have subscribers and they have ads and they make money from you and then they want to speak about Muhammad Abdul Wahab. We're going to leave all the senior scholars that fear Allah Azza wa Jal. We're going to take these funny individuals that that they change colors with the change of weather. In one year, they have four seasons. In one year, they have four seasons. Their opinions, their statements, their positions continue to change. Every single day, they're upon a new deen, a new methodology, a new aqeedah. You don't even know where they stand. There's absolutely no consistency or consistency upon falsehood. So while the ummah was suffering with this shirk all over, somebody brings back tawheed. Now they want to attack this individual in order to revive shirk. So that shirk can be revived and so the Islam can be watered down again. And so people say, hey, stop making a big deal. Doesn't matter this guy's Maturidi or he's Ash'ari or he's uh, Athari. All, all these differences are subtle uh, nuances. It's not a big deal. Oh, calling on other than Allah. If you don't think that he's a God, then it's okay. And you see the, you see the pattern. Do you see the pattern? So be careful of 
about who you learn your religion from. It's such a serious issue. Subhanallah, it's sick, wallah. Wallahi, it's sick. But that's why you always refer back to the Quran because the Quran is your anchor. The Quran is your anchor to understand where you stand. No one will respond to the desperate one when you call upon him but Allah Azza wa Jal. So we are the people of Tawheed. We beg Allah Azza wa Jal to make us live among the people of Tawheed and die among the people of Tawheed. There isn't a more virtuous uh, trait you can meet Allah Azza wa Jal with than that being a muwahid of Allah having not associated partners with him. And if you had done in the past, then you have repented from those completely. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with friends and family.